G'day, this is Captain Oob, and some more Creation Club crap has dropped for Fallout 4, so I'm going to investigate it. What we have on the table today is a quest called Crucible, and um, if you're familiar with this, it's actually the Heavy Incinerator. Do you remember that thing from Fallout 3? That's why I've uh, grabbed my uh, Enclave XO3 power armor here to go along with it. Right now, I've got a Flamer, so yeah, I'm getting sick of the Flamer in Fallout 4. I'll always have the wounding effect on it. So let's go ahead and improve our look a little bit, because honestly, the Flamer isn't doing it for me. So what we need to do is firstly go to Salgus Ironworks, which is a place with lots of fire. So yeah, if if I was given like three guesses, I'd, I'm guessing Salgus Ironworks would have been at least in the top three of what I think of what this place or what this quest would start at. All right, so now we're in here. We're killing these guys. Oh Jesus! I forgot how bad the flamer's range was when it was um. You got the vaporization barrel on it. It's actually kind of garbage. Yeah, that's, that's why I always used to put the just a regular barrel on it because look at this. I'm pretty sure you'd be feeling the heat regardless of whether the flame touched you, but we'll just skip all these people and head right inside. All right, so now we've got a proper objective marker, which means it's probably just going to be sitting there on the ground and ooh. Fighting Fire with Fire, I feel like there's a good song about that, by Metallica. I actually know there's a good song about that, but oh, it's actually on a person. They don't have any Enclave power armor, do they? Alright, so we'll just drop in and uh, have another epic Flamer on Flamer fight. What the? What level were you? You had a Flamer. Oh wait, it's a Forge Keeper's notes. we're gonna say. Hey, go here and get a thing, because this is where the thing's located. Okay, so the note reads, We found a heavy incinerator off the bodies of some old military remnants. That would be Enclave. Didn't recognize the dog tags, but Slag was impressed with the quality of the gear. Now, that's funny, because I've already killed Slag in this file, so... Okay. As for the incinerator, he says something this special requires a trial. A test to sort out the metal f from the ore. That's funny. I like that. We've had a few volunteers, but that doesn't surprise me. Most of these recruits don't have the nerve to walk through the fire, let alone the strength to survive it. Worse yet, I caught one of the cowards trying to cheat. I put the evidence in a toolbox by the terminals and stashed the key in one of the tin cans above it. I'll have Slag look it over before we feed her to the forge. Man, these raiders were fucking crazy, weren't they? Alright, so now we've got to find the... No, get back in the power armor. So now we've got to find some sort of key. Luckily, I brought a jetpack. Maybe I shouldn't stand on that. That seems a little bit dangerous, even in power armor. Yep, nice and easily float up here. And yes, a wonder glue, perfect. Well, I'm guessing there might be a key somewhere around, but I can just brute force it with a lockpick. There's the note. There's some even more wonder glue, perfect. And the recruit note reads, This new trial they've cooked up is fucking impossible. Can't lie though, it was funny watching the first three recruits walk in and see their feet melt off their ankles. Yikes. Never heard anyone scream like that. It was great. Okay, so this bitch was a psycho too. Matt just thought he was clever, but the idiot tossed a bottle of water into the thing and damn near blew all their heads off. Burner had the right idea. Using power armor, he just didn't rig it to resist extreme temperatures. I think I figured out a way. I've got to connect with a trader from my caravan days who hooked me up with some flame-resistant leg armor. As long as I don't get waist deep, I should be okay. Oh yeah, right. Problem is, my trial is in a few days, and I don't trust any of these fuckers not to steal it in the meantime, so I've buried the mods under one of the crucibles. In, in order to get it, you have to shut off the molten drip and use the console to move the container down the track. Since I'm the one who handles the heavy machinery around here, ain't no one gonna move that but me. We'll see about that random forged recruit. So here's the terminal, obviously advanced lock, so maybe you have to find a password to it. And now we can control... We can turn off the flow and melt to metal, and that's just some flavor text. Jumping down, all we need to do is press this little button, and we've turned off the molten metal, which means, oh, there's some Raider power armor. Maybe that's the power armor without legs that he tried to walk through it, so, yeah, good job on that, by the way. You, you did good. All right, so now we've moved to the crucible, so let's retrieve the items that were buried under here. Military grade duct tape, perfect, and flame resistant legs. All right, so we have to craft, craft the mods. Oh, it's it's literally floating over there. 
Well, I've got a jetpack and a quick save function, so this should be like taking an incinerator from a uh, hot metal thing. Alright, so I just need to time it properly. Oh, it instantly kills you. Okay, this might be more difficult than I thought. Okay, I've got another idea. What if I eject the fusion core into the flamey thing and then the physics will push the weapon out? Or is it actually literally stuck in there? That might be the case. And you can't jump into it like that because you die instantly. Point taken, game. Oh, I see. The things were in there all along. That makes sense. Alright, so ready to power left leg flame resistance. And it gives you immunity from being set on fire, and also a whole lot of uh, energy resistance there, which, you know, kind of makes sense as heat is an energy produced by flame, yes. Alright, so we'll chuck both of those things on, and unfortunately we're going to have to use Raider Power Armor to do this, and not Hellfire Power Armor, which, you know, would kind of suit it. Honestly, this is a uh, weapon that could go really well with the Hellfire Power Arm. I don't know why they didn't add it as like a bundle together, but hopefully we can survive this. Yeah, we're okay. And it's a Ghoul Slayer's Heavy Incinerator. Ghoul Slayer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks, game, for one of the worst legendaries. And with that, we've completed Crucible. Yay! Now, um, that's about it for this video. I'm going to be testing this. Ooh, that lens flare. Yeah, I changed it to Ultra. For some reason, it wasn't Ultra before, so that's why my previous Fallout 4 videos look like shit. Um, yeah, I'll be testing this and looking at the customization in a video to come. Thank you for watching, guys.